there guys what's up it's your boy 12 back with another youtube video for you guys on the channel today's video is going to be us taking a look at the team of season moments gerald daily Fayou, and just doing a quick review on him but without ado i just get right into the video <laughs> Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see on screen, Gerard Daly for you. I have done his SBC because the Serie A player had to do him. Let's go through the card. So basically he's got high low work rates. He's a center forward, obviously. Five star skills, four star weak, insane. Both, stat, both of those stats are absolutely insane. High low work rates as well. Incredible for an attacking player. Let's go through his in-games. 94 pace overall, which is 95 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. I do have a walk applied to this, so disregard all of these stats. We're going to go through the stats without the plus ones and plus twos attached to them, all right? Then the shooting, 92 overall, 93 attacking position, 92 finishing, 93 shot power, 92 long shots, 86 volleys, 91 penalties. Again, this card, just like the Tara Martinez, is insane, both, both for burners and for finishing. Obviously, there'll be some clips playing right now on screen for you guys that I've saved from the game I just played. But yeah, I, I took a couple. I tried the low drivens, they were on point. I what else did I try? I tried finessing, they were they were really good. I tried long shots, again, really good. Just an all-round very good card. So we'll now go into the passing. 89 vision. Or oh, sorry, passing 88 overall with 89 vision, 82 crossing, 92 free kick accuracy, 90 short pass, 88 long pass, 92 curve. Again, when I say the finesses, I would say the finesses are nuts. They go dribbling 93 overall with 96 agility, 93 balance, which is very good with him as well. Because he's a short guy. How tall is he? 5'10. So yeah, he's a short guy, so he can just weave in and out of players, get into them one-on-one -on -one with the keeper as you love it. For Bob's your uncle for the goal asshole. So we go reactions 91, ball control 94, dribbling 93, composure 92. The composure along with the finishing is nuts. It's crazy. It's a great card. Make sure you do him for sure. He's not expensive at all. Plus with the upgrades having been released today, he is so easy to craft. It's almost a must do. So we go defending. 41 overall, 33 interception, 55 heading accuracy, defensive awareness of 45, stand tackle at 40, blood tackle at 29. Heading accuracy at 55. The reason I do this defending is that it's mostly because of the heading accuracy. The thing is with this card, it doesn't really matter. If I, if anything, I play in cam. If you guys have run in formation with a cam, let it be a 4 2 4 2 what, 4 one 2 one 2 I believe has a cam slot as well. Or any of those formations which has got has got a cam position in it, he's perfectly suited for it. He's not a player who's going to win you headers. He's also only got 60 jumping. So it's not one of them ones where you can actually, like Lotaro Martinez, where you can actually go pop a header with him. It's not going to happen. Ain't, ain't a thing. So, as we get to physicality, as said, 60 jumping, 93 stamina, 80 strength, 66 aggression. So, yes, he is on the weaker side, but that's fine because for the body type he's got, for his pace, for his height, for everything else, he's not a player which you really want going up against the Kessier. He's a player you pass through to get that fucking tapping. It is what it is. So, yes, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. <laughs> Hope this video has also helped you guys in making the decision on whether you guys want to do him or not. But with that being said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one very, very soon.